All right, well, this is a, I've been working on this for a while now, and uh, I've got the governor gear removed. Open up the case on the side here. Pulled out the little uh, plastic gear and the little arm, and also the uh, oil, low oil sensor in there. I removed the valve cover here, put in uh, some uh, higher ratio rocker arms and 18 pound valve springs, that's done. And now I just want to say a couple words about the uh, lighting coil. Um, I, I was told that the Arctic Cat lighting coil would work with the, uh, with the GX200 uh, flywheel with the two magnets, but uh, it uh, clearly didn't work. I had picked this one up off of eBay, and uh, it's just too big and it doesn't fit the bolt pattern on the side of this clone. So I did have these uh, coils from the 50 amp. I believe that's what they are. The originals, I think, are 50 watts. I think the original is a 80 watt. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try the, the 50 watts since I have them with the flywheel from the Honda, and uh, we'll see what happens. If you try to go this route, you will note that there's uh, only one wire. These two coils have one wire that splices together, and so we have one wire here coming out. <clears throat> The original coils have uh, two wires coming out, but uh, your second wire is just going to be the ground on this. So I'll ground the chassis and connect that to the other wire. And I've also got my 8 degree flywheel key installed here. So I'll put the flywheel on, torque it to 90 foot pounds. I've got my cooling uh, fan here. I've removed every other blade, I just snipped them off. Uh, we'll get ready to put this baby in.